find the product of the polynomials. So we're going to go one at a time. Uh, negative d squared times that. Negative d squared times that. Negative d squared times that. And we're going to add exponents because if you recall, common base means I add exponents. Okay, so let's see what we get. We get uh, 3 because there's a 3 out in front of that one. Um, and I, I get uh, d to the fourth, and one of them's negative, so they're negative. And now they're both negative, so I get a positive, 7, d to the third. This is a d to the first, so I add it to d to the second. I add my exponents. And then negative again, 6. 6 doesn't have any d's, so the d2 stays d2, d to the second power. Um, okay, so then let's see. I'm going to have 4d times 3d squared, and 4d times negative 7, and uh, 4d times 6. So let's see what we get. We get uh, 3 times 4, that's 12. It's going to be d to the first power times d to the second, so that's going to be 12. I'm going to line it up with d to the third, because it's d to the third. I'm going to get a negative. 4 times 7 is 28 d to the first times d to the first is d squared. Uh, then I'm going to get a plus 24, 4 times 6, and I only have the 1d. Okay. And then finally, um, it's going to be hard to make this look right, so hopefully you can keep track of it without me drawing arrows. 3 times 3 is 9d squared. Uh, 3 times negative 7 is 21, negative 21 d. And then 3 times 6, there's no d involved at all, it's just 18. Okay. And my answer is, when I add these up, uh, negative 3 d to the fourth. They're both positive, so 19 d to the third. They're both negative, so they were, oh, they're both, there's three of them. But it is going to be negative, let's see how negative. Uh, let's see, I'd get negative 34, and then I take, I, I combine the negative 34 with the positive 9, and I get 25, 25 d squared, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think I am, positive 24, negative 21, the positive wins by 3, and plus 18, okay, so there's my answer.